writing a letter at home, huh? Yes, sir. I understand that uh, your mother just got out of the uh, hospital yes, a few sir. days ago. Is that right? Yes, sir. I just got a letter from you. To the Marine, the chaplain is a reminder of home, a reminder of the force of religion in daily thought and life that transcends distance and time. This chaplain prepares to mount his flying steed. Our helicopter-borne Navy chaplains serve as 20th century circuit riders and carry to the men wherever they are the ministry of the faith they represent. On Easter Sunday, as on every Sunday of the year, Chaplain Holland Hope, one of the three flying chaplains of the 2nd Field Force, takes to the air to carry his portable church services to isolated special forces camps in the 3rd and 4th Corps areas in Vietnam. Carrying his portable altar and a battery-powered tape recorder with pre-recorded hymns on it, Colonel Hope is warmly greeted at the special forces camps. He moves into the camp's mess hall and sets up his altar. Before the services, he passes out some magazines he has managed to bring along with him. This is the hot break line at Takli Royal Thai Air Force Base, Thailand. The F-105 Thunder Chiefs, you see, are preparing for missions over North Vietnam. And it's a cold, hard fact of war that some of these planes may not be back. With me is Major Philip E. Grimmett, Protestant chaplain from Dallas, Texas. Major Grimmett, what is the chaplain's program here on the hot break line? We come down here each day. Of course, we're not able to uh, talk to the pilots in this particular area because of the noise factor. But we're here. They know we're here. We give them a high sign and uh, wish them well on their uh, mission. And even though we can't talk, there's a lot of reports. 